In the shadow of the mighty Hittites, another civilization once thrived, the Luwians, a people nearly erased from memory. They inhabited western and southern Anatolia, speaking one of the earliest Indo-European languages ever recorded. For centuries, their story lay hidden beneath layers of myth, fragmentary inscriptions, and forgotten ruins. Historians long viewed them as minor players in the Bronze Age world. Until now, recent breakthroughs in archaeology, linguistics, and ancient DNA have begun to reveal an astonishing truth. The Luwians were not a footnote, but a missing chapter in the story of early Europe and the Near East. This is a rediscovery of a lost civilization and a genetic code that brings their world back to life. Long before the rise of the Hittite Empire, Western and Southern Anatolia were home to a vibrant network of city-states and kingdoms that spoke the Luwian language. This region, stretching from the Aegean coast to the Taurus Mountains, was the beating heart of a forgotten Bronze Age world. Among its most significant centers were Arzawa, Mirra, and Walusa, the latter widely identified with ancient Troy. These cities flourished between 1800 and 1200 BCE, engaging in maritime trade, metallurgy, and the exchange of ideas across the Aegean and Levant. Unlike the centralized power of the Hittites in central Anatolia, the Luwian lands were decentralized yet deeply interconnected, bound by language, religion, and commerce. Their position between Mycenaean Greece to the west and Mesopotamian influence cultures to the east made them cultural intermediaries, blending eastern and western innovations. They transmitted not only trade goods, but myths, symbols, and technologies, acting as a connective tissue of the ancient world. Archaeological excavations reveal fortified citadels, rich tombs, and monumental reliefs carved in distinct Luwian hieroglyphs. Sites like Basalt and Aphrodisias and Tarsus have yielded artifacts of remarkable sophistication, from ceremonial daggers to seals depicting deities shared across Anatolia and the Aegean. These finds paint a portrait of a people both warrior-like and artistic, urban yet spiritual. In many ways, the Luwian world was the missing bridge linking the civilizations of Mycenaean Greece and Hittite Anatolia. Its legacy, long obscured by later empires, represents a crucial piece in understanding how the Bronze Age Mediterranean became the cradle of the first truly interconnected world. The Luwian language stands among the earliest known branches of the Indo-European family, closely related to Hittite, but far more geographically widespread across western and southern Anatolia. It was a language of power, commerce, and diplomacy, spoken in city-states that dotted the Bronze Age coastlines. Remarkably, Luwian was written in two distinct scripts, Mesopotamian-style cuneiform for administrative purposes, and a unique hieroglyphic script used on monuments and seals. These inscriptions make Luwian one of the oldest written Indo-European languages on record. Linguists have traced echoes of Luwian vocabulary and phonetics in later Anatolian tongues like Lycian and Carian, and even propose subtle influences on early Greek. Its wide diffusion suggests a dynamic cultural and linguistic network across the Aegean and Anatolia long before classical civilizations arose. Understanding Luwian thus provides crucial evidence for reconstructing Indo-European migration routes and linguistic evolution. Far from being a peripheral dialect, Luwian may represent one of the earliest Indo-European expansions, anchoring the family's presence deep within the Anatolian Bronze Age. In recent years, breakthroughs in ancient DNA research have illuminated the biological roots of the Luwians, and the findings have astonished archaeologists and linguists alike. Studies published by Nature, Science, and the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology have analyzed genetic material from human remains unearthed in western and southern Anatolia, including regions historically associated with Luwian culture. The results reveal that individuals linked to Luwian settlements carried a unique genetic blend, primarily Anatolian Neolithic farmer ancestry, combined with measurable input from Pontic, Caspian steppe populations that migrated into the region around 300 to 2500 BCE. This infusion corresponds with a broader Indo-European expansion across Eurasia, However, unlike their Hittite contemporaries in central Anatolia, the Luwians retain a more westernized genetic profile, showing affinities with early Aegean peoples, such as the Minoans and Mycenaeans. This pattern indicates that the Luwians were part of a Pan-Eurasian interaction zone, a bridge population linking the Aegean Anatolia and the steppe. Their genetic distinctiveness supports linguistic theories, 
suggesting multiple Indo-European entry points into Anatolia rather than a single Hittite-led migration. These discoveries overturn long-held assumptions. Indo-European languages in Anatolia may not have been introduced solely through the Hittites, but also through Luwian-speaking groups who embody both the genetic and cultural crossroads of the ancient world. Around 1200 BCE, the ancient world convulsed in chaos. Known as the Bronze Age Collapse, this era saw the fall of mighty kingdoms across the eastern Mediterranean, and the Luwian states were among its casualties. Cities such as Arzwa, Mira, and Wulusa, Troy, were burned or abandoned, their trade networks shattered as maritime routes collapsed. Some scholars believe Luwian warriors and sailors joined the mysterious sea peoples, whose raids reshaped the map of the Near East. Yet the Luwians did not vanish. Survivors migrated south and east, integrating into the Neo-Hittite principalities of Cilicia and northern Syria, where Luwian hieroglyphs and deities endured for centuries. Archaeological layers show continuity, not extinction. Luwian artistry, symbols, and architecture persisted beneath the veneer of new empires. Even in Greek myths and biblical names, faint echoes of Luwian heroes and cities remain, preserving a legacy that refused to die. Though their kingdoms fell, the Luwians' cultural DNA spread widely across the ancient Mediterranean. Their influence may pulse through Greek mythology, particularly the legends of Troy and western Anatolia, where Luwian-speaking peoples once ruled. Artistic motifs such as a double-headed eagle, sun discs, and rock-carved reliefs migrated into Phrygian, Lycian, and even early Greek art, showing how their visual language survived conquest. Modern genetic studies reveal that Bronze Age Anatolian DNA, likely including Luwian ancestry, persists in populations of western Turkey and parts of the Aegean today. Their bloodlines, like their culture, flowed silently beneath successive civilizations. The Luwians were not a vanished people, but cultural ancestors of the Mediterranean world. Traders, linguists, and storytellers whose fingerprints remain on art, language, and myth. Hidden in plain sight, their spirit still echoes in the stones and symbols of Anatolia. For centuries, the Luwians were known only through scattered inscriptions and passing mentions in Hittite archives. They seem more myth than reality, a rumor of history. But now... Genetic sequencing, archaeology, and linguistic reconstruction are converging to resurrect their identity. Ancient genomes confirm their distinct ancestry, while excavations at sites like Basalt and, and Sinekoi reveal inscriptions and artifacts that bridge language with biology. Together, these disciplines compose a new narrative, one of movement, adaptation, and endurance. Each DNA strand adds a verse to a lost Bronze Age epic that once shaped Europe's earliest civilizations. The Luwians remind us that civilizations don't need empires to endure. Sometimes their survival lies in symbols, stories, and a shared code of human inheritance, written not on tablets, but in our genes. The Luwians are no longer the silent shadows beneath Hittite power. Emerging from the soil of Anatolia in the date of modern science, they now stand as a pillar of Bronze Age civilization. Their DNA traces migrations that united the Eurasian steppes, the Aegean, and the Near East, reshaping how we understand the Indo-European story. What once seemed a forgotten people now appears as a central thread in the tapestry of human history, innovators, navigators, and storytellers of the early world. Long before Greece and Rome, a forgotten people carried Europe's first words, built Anatolia's first cities, and left their genes and the bones of the modern world. Their name was Luwian, and their story is finally being told.